Hello everyone, you guys, after months of having a break since The Bachelor ended, Bachelor Nation is back in session. We kick off season 20 of The Bachelorette with Charity Lawson from Zach's season. We see her introduction. She shares that her longest relationship was six years, but it was a very unhealthy relationship. A lot of cheating and stuff like that. She has a lovely talk with her family. They are very supportive of her. And she mentions Zach. They show footage of them together. Because remember, she made it pretty far when she was on his season. Like, she went all the way to hometowns. And she says that even though they didn't work out, that she really appreciates it. Because it helped her move on and see that she is ready to find true love. And she arrives to a LA. She seems very excited and ready for the journey. And without further ado, night one begins. Jesse Palmer is still the host. He chats with her. She says she's excited. And after some words of encouragement, he leaves and the journey officially begins. Obviously, I can't go over every single guy. It's too many of them. But here are some of the notable ones. The first guy, of course, we have to mention who the first one was, is a man named Aaron. He's a software sales executive. He looks like a good guy. He made her laugh. Joey is a guy who is a tennis player. He's from Hawaii. I can see some connection with them. He gave her a little flower and put it on her hair. I have said this many times, but... A lot of the times when we get the introductions, whether it's Bachelor or Bachelorette, when they're coming out of the limo, I find it a little cringy and corny. I don't know if that's just me. And we also move along to this guy named Xavier. He is getting a PhD. He is a biomedical scientist, so he's very smart. And he also does some music on the side. A lot of well-educated men, I gotta say, were on this first night. And that's good. You know, Charity's energy was actually great with every single one of the men that she met. This one guy does like a backflip. His name is Chris, and he holds a record for the highest jump. That's crazy. We have a professional wrestler named Caleb, but he came dressed up as a cowboy. You know what? Let me say this. If I was on The Bachelorette, I would hate to be one of the last men to arrive because once you go into the house, it's so awkward. Like, it's full of all these other guys that are already when who are, like, competing with you. It's just weird. So, um, the ones that go first definitely have the advantage. There's a guy named Datum. He is, um... A giant. He's very tall. He's from Nigeria and he has a pretty interesting story about his family and coming to this country. Then after all the men come, Jesse tells Charity there's a man who's coming. He's the last one, but she knows him. She's so confused. She doesn't know who it is. She's even nervous, but it's none other than her brother showing up for some emotional support and letting her know that he's rooting for her and he's there with a motive. He puts on a wig, a fake mustache, and he is undercover bartender to hear what these men are up to. I thought it was a great plan at first. Finally, it's time to get inside. She goes in and gives a speech. And then I guess like the cocktail party of it begins. The tennis guy Joey sits down to talk with her and he seems very comfortable. He was holding her hand, having a really good chemistry. And Charity also likes his smile and presence. We got an attorney named James. He brings a gift. It had a note from his mom. He didn't know. And even he admitted that it was a little bit strange. He was embarrassed. I would have been embarrassed too. The letter was really nice. And there were some donuts and some beverages from their farm that they have. Y'all, she shares her first kiss with Xavier. And it wasn't just like a peck, a little kiss. It was a full out makeout session. Meanwhile, her brother who was, you know, doing his undercover stuff is you know a little bit weirded out hearing all these men talk about his sister in that way but going back to charity she also kisses a guy named john it also was long i think she enjoyed it but i don't i don't think it was as passionate as it was with xavier and then all of a sudden the guys in the living room are with in front of charity doing all these crazy backflips lifting each other up it was funny there's a guy who was really nice And he tells Charity that he has a son. And I was on Twitter because I go on there when I'm like watching the show live just to see the reaction of the fans. And a lot of people found him weird. And I do think he was a little different. 
uh, there was something different about him, but I don't want to call him weird because I don't know if he has a disability or speech impediment or if he's neurodivergent. So, uh, yeah, I don't want to judge him because some people were saying, oh, my God, he's creepy. He probably has this. And I was like, no, that's a little mean. Um, Aaron. Oh, and by the way, when she tells him he has a kid, she is, you know, very accepting and she takes it in very well. She doesn't make him feel bad. Aaron, who was the first guy out of the limo, played the piano for her. That was really nice. And she also kisses him. She also kisses a guy named Brayden, who says he was so happy when he found out that she was going to be the bachelorette. So she pulls out a Claire Crawley move and says, really, what did you like about me? But thankfully, he actually had a good answer. He said that he loved her empathy. And they kissed and kissed and kissed. It was a very long kiss. The guy is only 24 and it doesn't seem like it, but when he left and he was with the other guys, you could definitely tell he was 24. He was like, oh my gosh, I kissed her. I kissed her. And I was like, dude, shut up. Like, keep in mind, the brother is disguised as a bartender and he's been hearing all of this. And I get it. He was excited. But like, I'm 20 and if I kissed a girl, maybe to my homeboys, I'll be like, y'all, like a kiss. But he doesn't even know these guys. But anyway, the bartender, in, you know, bartender, um, gathers all the men and then he reveals himself that he's Charity's brother and they're all very shocked. He says, I'm going to go talk to my sister about some of the things that I heard. And a lot of the guys are like, shoot, did I say anything bad? So then the brother goes out and snitches all the things that he heard. He says he liked Aaron. You know, he mentioned some other people, but he says he doesn't like Brayden. He says he's a little bit too cocky, a little bit too arrogant. And I agree. Like I said, he shouldn't have gone around saying he kissed her. But he was excited, man. So that definitely changed Charity's opinion, which it's important to hear what the brother thinks. But it's not really his place, dude. Like, wait until she brings him home. And I only say this because none of the guys said anything that was, like, disrespectful or bad. If it was, then I get that. So then she calls in Brayden she goes inside the house and says I need to talk to you Brayden let's go Charity then says to him when they're alone you know my brother said that you were overconfident about being here and that you thought you deserved or that you were confident enough to get the first impression rose so he explains himself he says you know I wasn't trying to come across as bragging I was just really giddy so she says okay I'm, I'm gonna go in quote think she comes back and she says, you know what? The first impression rose is so important to me. And for you to be saying this is really nice. She pulled out the first impression rose and it was shocking because like she did it on purpose. Like the tone made it sound like she was mad. But then when she pulled it out, he was so excited because even I thought she was going to like bandwagon with what her brother thought. But that man's face was like over the clouds and she was saying that, you know what, for him to be confident was actually like a turn on to her that, okay, you know, if, if you feel like we, you were confident in our connection, then I feel confident in this. Um, so that was nice. I will say, um, I don't think he'll last because like I said, he does seem very immature. But when they go back to the uh, to the house and the guys see that he got the f first impression rose, the men were gagged. But then it is time for the rose ceremony. She lets them know, listen, this is my journey. I'll follow my heart and I hope all y'all respect that. The rose ceremony begins. For the first episodes, they don't really mean anything because we don't really know any of them for the most part. So it's not that like, you know, suspenseful. But the guy that I mentioned earlier, Spencer, who has the son, was very nervous about not being called. But he was actually the final rose to be called. So he made it. He is safe. The other guys were dismissed, but it's guys that we weren't even introduced to, really. So that was the first episode of The Bachelor, you guys. I'm so glad that we are back with Bachelor Nation. So please let me know all your comments and thoughts about this first episode. I liked it. I enjoyed it. It wasn't anything too crazy, any drama, but we got a extended trailer for the season and there's definitely going to be a lot of that. And it's a little bit hard because I remember in Zach's season and it might have been the second episode, but I think actually it might have been the first one also. 
there were some girls that I was like, wow, she's going to go to like the very end. But with Charity, there's a lot of guys that she truly likes. And by the trailer, we also see there's a lot of guys she's going to have deep connections with. So I'm excited to go on this ride because I think it's going to be a total roller coaster. So I can't wait to see that happen. But as I said, let me know what are your thoughts. What do you think about Brayden and just this overall night one? Let me know. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time. You'll have a great one. Bye.